Jello and welcome dear ranchers. Lately I have been posting a lot of photos in my community tab. What I'm talking about specifically is that lately I've been posting some realistic slide rancher artwork on my community tab. It all started when I posted a funny photo of the party corto stomping on my quote unquote car. Ever since then, a lot of you really like that post. So every week, I try to post you guys often on what sort of wow shenanigans that I'm going through while I'm um, quote unquote on the far far range. So now, after much questions on how I make them, I thought I'd answer them by going through a tutorial. Before I begin, I want to let you guys know that I am not the greatest when it comes to realistic artwork. I am fairly new to the craft. I've been drawing for many years, so I have some experience, but when it comes to realistic, real life drawing, I will do my best explanation on how I do it. There's plenty of people online that could do it a lot more better than I would. Again, I'll do my best. First things first is grabbing a model. What I'm using is a beach ball, because one, it's the only thing I got. Two, it provides a very lovely reflection whenever light reflects it. So I thought this would be a perfect model for slimes. Putting the ball on any sort of scene that I thought it would be perfect, I take a photo and put it in my Clip Studio program. I used to use Photoshop, but I became less of a fan of Adobe's practices. I heard Clip Studio is fantastic for artists, so I stuck with it ever since. I upload the photo straight to my program and begin drawing. The first thing I do is provide a solid dark color to help me gradually build the lighting as I progress further into the drawing. Now remember, lighting is extremely important. So before drawing, figure out which point of lighting that you're, you're trying to draw. And in this photo in particular, the drawing is directly behind the photo that I'm taking. So having a reflection should be directly uh, in the front of the slime's face, if that makes sense. I add an extra layer for the mouth and eyes as well as the mask. However, I forgot to include the mask into the layers, so now I have to go around on how to put lighting in the mask naturally. As I go into the drawing, I put some creative liberties on the ears. I use references to get a good idea how the hunter's slime looks like. There's some moments, especially the ears, that I have to be a little different on how I could make it realistic. I'm going by realism here, so a mixture of slime and cat features minus the fur makes things a lot more difficult, but yet fun. I do love a good challenge. As for the eyes, I do recommend looking up some cat eyes online. When I was drawing this, I completely forgot to do that. So if the eyes look a little wonky, I do apologize. I did not use a reference for the eyes at all, something I should have done, done in the very beginning. When applying lighting as shadow, something like that does take practice and having a clear understanding how anatomy works. Again, we're using a slime, so I have to take some creative liberties on the lighting because there's no way to grab a real-life slime to make that realistic portrait look. I usually add, add a different layer for the shadowing. Put in multiply, put the tint blue color, and that usually gives a really nice shadow, natural shadowy look. That depends on the environment. If it's around sunlight, I do recommend using a, cr a creamy or a magenta color. Again, that depending, that's usually good for sunsets. In this case, I have to use blue because it's an indoors. I think gray works as well. I, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm going by memory here. I probably use either blue or a gray tint for the shadows. If you guys wondering what type of brushes I use for Clip Studio, I just use the basic 
tools that was included when I first got the program. I'm not a big fan of bombarding my tool set with different brushes. I'm usually the one that just go with the tools that I was given. I understand there's plenty of brushes out there that will have my workload a lot more easier, but I found myself more comfortable with the tools. So far, with the drawings that I have done in the past, it's done wonders. Now you guys probably noticed that I went back and forth on the beach ball as well as the hunter that I'm currently drawing. I want that realistic glare look. What I mean by glare is the lighting you see in reflection sometimes, very smooth glossy surfaces. Something like that I am very new so I'm a little ri I'm a little I won't say rusty I'm a little new on how to really do that that's why you, you see me a lot hiding the layer from the hunter to the beach ball later on my, my later drawings I've been getting the hang of it that is essentially it I do apologize if the speed drawing fit footage is a little wonky, I completely forgot to change my resolution size before recording. Oopsie daisy. I do recommend practice as often as you can as well as using references, paying attention to your environment when it comes to lighting. Another thing is don't draw every day, draw as often as you can. Because after all, the brain is just like the muscles in your body. It needs to rest every once in a while. And eventually, you will get the hang of it. If there's something that I missed, or you guys want additional information on how I do these kind of realistic drawings, let me know. Also, I want to point out that I do have an Instagram where I post a lot of these realistic drawings. I don't post them not just my community, my YouTube community tab, but also my Instagram. I don't use Instagram very often. I just use it to pay attention to what's been happening with Monomi Park and that platform. I'm not a big social media person. The only platforms I am in is, of course, YouTube, Discord, and now I guess Instagram. Again, I am not going to use it very often. I'm just going to post some some stuff, probably including some chubby so far merchandise to help the Ocean Rage project. Hey, I even post this stuff in my Discord page in the Slime Rancher General or Slime Rancher 2 channels. If you're interested, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are when I post these realistic drawings on all the platforms. Again, if you're interested in more of how I do this stuff in, in much more detail, I will probably do a second video describing more of what m my drawing process is if you guys in are interested. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy. Like always, stay awake.